how to add payment method on Webflow. Hello guys and welcome to this new tutorial. Today I am going to show you how you can add a payment method to your Webflow website. Here I am going to use two simple methods. If you have a third method you can try it and if you don't and don't know how to do it simply follow up the tutorial and you will be good to go. Now we are on Webflow. This is the dashboard, as you can see, and this is my website. All you have to do is to click on Open Designer. Right here, it will load up the website, the website editor. This is what I mean. And here we have the website that you have created. Of course, you have to ensure that you have added the product section in your store. You can go ahead and uh, add the product section. You can add a page, for example. Let's go ahead and add a page here I'm going to add an element for example you can go ahead and add a new page it is up to you here's for the pages now this is the home page I'm going to add a page you can put uh, here a no e-commerce page I'm going to enable the e-commerce page this is the page that we need let's do it this is very simple and here you can go ahead and follow up these steps and build your uh, e-commerce page or you can put for example the items I am going to put for example five items here it will add up the items that we have I'm going to use the webflow here in parallel with Shopify so I will make things easier this is for the uh, first method now as you can see we have some products created I'm going to see here the pages and see here what we have when when you click on pages here I will I'm going to scroll down until I see e-commerce pages I have here product page or products template I click on here and it will be shown up the page here I am going to add uh, you can add some elements for example you can add a container this is the container that we are going to have here we have the layout you can customize it the spacing the size it is up to you I'm going to also add for example an image let's go ahead and add an image for this uh, this one here we have to choose a image let's go ahead and choose a random edit image for example this one this uh, sweater or this hoodie I can make it like this move it around and etc you can also make some for example for the products you can go ahead and make some description you can add some buttons here the most important thing that you have to customize or to add whenever or when you finish everything right here on the product templates is the checkout here we have two checkout options we have the checkout and the checkout PayPal the checkout PayPal here is very simple you can go ahead and link your PayPal it is very easy uh, for example on this one you can go ahead and, and link it will be redirecting to the PayPal and everything is set right here and or you can go ahead right back I'm going back here to the normal checkout here it has the uh, necessary information that it will gather for example from the uh, customer here as you can see this is just an example items in order as you can see this is the total and here we have everything when you click on a place order here we have some simple settings we have some animation and we have a lot of things now I can add this method manually by just clicking on the place order here I'm going to hide this button and then I will click on a plus on this plus section I'm going to click on a button I'm going to customize my own button here you can go ahead and select this button then you can put the URL of it here since I, I am going to work with my Shopify store I will go ahead and link the checkout page for the uh, product that I have for example products let's go ahead to the sweater 
let's say that uh, the, this uh, checkout page is for uh, the sweater for example this is for the sweater and now I am going to click on sweater simply view here then I will get it right now click on here at checkout I'm going to reduce the quantity of the uh, here return no I'm not going to return this is the uh, continue checkout I am going to continue checkout now we have for example this is the checkout page I'm going to copy the link go ahead here on the web flow then I'm going to put my URL right here and then I will name the button text here for example you can go ahead and put it wherever you want by now or you can put for example for the style here I'm going to put for the typography and see what we will have if you want to modify the text on this button all you have to do is to click double click on this box then I'm going to type for example by now by now and this is for the button now I can go ahead and adjust the button for example for the style you can put the width for example of the button the high uh, here for more size option you can put it right here for example I'm going to align this one for on here we have here some options for example on this on the middle and a lot of options you, you can go ahead and uh, see these options this is for the text now I'm going to put for example the width let's see and what do we have here this is the um, styles of the button here I think that it is very big now let's go ahead and put like this let's go with this but I'm going to change this number let's say that we have it here this one I'm going to put it for example let's say that we have 40 I'm going to put it as 40 here it is a bit bigger I'm going to put for example 60 this is the size of the button no this is not what I wanted to do but this is 40 it is not what I'm going to do this is 60 here and here this is the full button and it is clickable whenever you want to test out something you are going to click on publish here publish uh, to selected domains you can go ahead and publish to the domain right here let's go ahead and see everything is published you can have some more options now let's go ahead and see the website toggle preview I'm going to toggle the preview whenever a customer fill out these information for example this one click on buy now it will take them to the Shopify store that was very simple the second method is to use Zapier here Zapier is an automation with options or uh, triggers creator I'm click on, on create here click on zaps and now I'm going to choose the two apps or that or the app that I'm going to use here what do you would like to automate automate for example uh, order from webflow webflow and here we go I'm going to put here the trigger I'm going to put, choose webflow here click on webflow select the webflow here the event is required new order this is the order and now for the action I'm going to use here let me uh, hide that for the action I'm going to click here and then you have to search for the payment provider that you have for example PayPal let's say search for PayPal here we have no act op actions available but we have from Stripe for example Stripe. here we have Stripe when you add Stripe here select event we have create an action you can create an action or for example create customer invoice payment payment link here it will create a payment link then you click on uh, continue then sign in and you will be good to go that was all for today's video thank you guys for watching and hope to see you soon on the next one